Okay, I'm working on something big. Something huge. The idea will change the way we play. It will change the way we party, but most of all, it will change the way we play beer pong. Okay, okay, all joking aside, I'm working on a design for a beer pong table. The goal of this design is simple. Make a table that is better and ready to take on the unique design challenges that this game brings to our table. Most beer pong tables, or in your case, doors, picnic tables, countertops, desks, and dining tables, pose some very serious issues with beer pong. First off, they're never even the right size. The standard playable area for a beer pong table is 8 feet long, 2 feet wide, and 27 and a half inches tall. And what about the spills? You're in a room full of drunken people trying to stay standing, let alone trying to swat a ping pong ball over the table, which usually ends at about eight party fouls thanks to the spilled cups. The beer flies off the table and gets all over your carpet. We need to figure out how to keep the beer from leaving the table when it spills. But wait, it seems I have already thought of this. I have designed a water tray around the edge that will catch that pesky beer when it is inevitably spilled by your drunken partner, thus greatly reducing the amount of beer that you need to soak up in the spill. What about the beer? Again, you're in a room full of drunken people trying to stay standing, while sending texts to their friends, dancing to music, taking bad photos, posting those photos that they shouldn't post on Facebook, and occasionally trying to throw a ball in a cup. This tends to make the game last up to an hour before the other team finally says, forget it, we win. But of course, somebody has to drink that beer. That same beer has been sitting on that table for one hour, cooking. Who wants to drink room temperature beer after it's set out for an hour? Nobody. But it's the rules. Drink up, buddy. The point is, we need to figure out a solution to keep the beer on the table cold. I've already thought of this, too. The same design features an ice tray in the table that will keep your beer cold and frothy. The idea is simple. Pack the tray with ice, stick the lid on it, place the cups on lid, play beer pong. And what about the bounce? Have you ever tried to bounce a ball off of a door and then play another game on a dining room table? Good luck recalibrating yourself to the completely different bounce whenever you're so drunk that you can't even tell who you're playing against. The beauty of this table is I'm going to be able to hone the thickness of the table to a perfect amount for the best beer pong bounce. This bounce would stay consistent for years to come. And what about these freaking cups sliding all over the place? Admit it, you've been playing the game before, and just as you shoot your ball, the freaking cup pulls a Houdini and slides away from where it was. The water on the soaking wet table, or in your case, the door, moves the cup just wherever it damn well pleases. That's where my specially made lid comes in. The lid is going to be made out of a special material that will keep the cups dry and keep them from sliding all over the place. My design is going to focus on one thing. Make your game the best damn beer pong game you've ever played, period. Here's how you can help. Click on the link in the description area below and sign up for my newsletter. I will be sending updates of the progress of the design, taking in ideas to make this table better, and whenever the time comes, I intend on putting this on a website like kickstarter.com for example to get my first production run of these tables made. With your help, this table can be possible.